A tape heavy rain and severe storms, despite June forecast that gives a very little hope of wet bear, it sweeps in the southeast states. Lock points damp and tropical air causes storms throughout the country moist and tropical air causes storms around the country. South Australia hit heavy rain and lightning on Tuesday Southern Australia hit heavy rain and lightning on Tuesday and Canberra is having hot beginnings for winter the moist tropical airflow is responsible for non unauthorized storms. At same time the hottest beginning has been winter for decades. This week, Western Australia polluted Perth due to a strong cold facade responsible for heaviest downpour in five years, which brought snow to Stirling Ranges in north of Albany. Thunderstorm storms with thousands of lightning strikes illuminated the sky, while a wild night in South Australia. Rain is now crossed border, and unusual high winter humidity levels on Victoria triggered meteorological office to warn for flash floods for a part of state up to 60 millimeters in six hours today. Severe rain is result of the movement of cold air on WA towards east, unreasonable high temperatures, and conflict with moisture. This produced a rain and storm that runs more than 1,000 kilometers from the Queensland border to the Bay Strait. For the next 24 hours, the storm group will move even further east in NSW Victoria and become violent harmful wind with flash floods may bring gusts. This air event is unusual for June and will probably bring the best winter decreases for inner regions from intervals. For example, if Bendio take more than 30 mm 24 hours, city would be heaviest winter decline in 9 years, while imagination be most severe 28 years. Rain comes as a surprise after publishing dry June outlook of the office just a few and Pacific status where the Bureau El Nino warning the heavy rain is estimated in the southeast provinces for the next 24 hours. Farmers welcomed the best rain over the years the existing rain and storm epidemic is second of week, and June sums of June is far above monthly average for many inner towns. Western NSW, in 28 years, the town's heaviest winter decrease in Ivanhoe 54 mm, including 54 mm rain on Monday to two months. While farmers on was wheat bed welcomed the rain on Mondays and Tuesdays with satisfaction, while Perth has been soaked more than 100 mm since Sunday night. The tropical air mass responsible for rain leads to average temperatures in most of the central and eastern mainland of Australia. In May, as opposite cold pattern of southern winds, we now see one hottest beginnings in winter. So far, Adelaide has been working about 6 degrees above normal, which has been the hottest beginning of the city since 1957. While in capital, Canberra enjoys the hottest first week in winter and minimum average of 7 degrees. Sydney also made a comfortable start to the winter and temperatures are at the highest level in early June.